Well, this is Guys Nas Watches, and this is the S Wing Camper's Axe um, 12 inch leather handle, stainless steel. Has a little end cap on it. Yeah, Camper's Axe S Wing. No, that's not what that says, is it? I gotta get bifocals. I'm gonna get my bifocals redone. Anyway, the deal is. Yours is not going to look like mine. Hopefully, it's going to be a lot newer. I bought this when I was a teenager. Uh, they haven't really changed at all since then. And that's one. And two, mine has a black finish on it. What we were actually doing is we coated a few of these uh, with different types of finishes. I think this one is actually uh, Duracoat. And it's one of their uh, stronger Duracoats. I can't tell you the one. It's been a few years. I probably made a video on it when I did it. In fact, I know I did. And uh, and it's held up really well. What do I like about it? It's like a, a big survival knife. It's almost like, you know, that type of thing. It's a pry bar. Except it's a pry bar that chops very, very well because, you, of course, you have your concentrated weight there on the end. <clears throat> what else do I like about it? It has a very thin blade which means it digs into things really easily. It, you can bury this thing deep really uh, without too much effort. Now, I'm going to tell you real quick, I actually don't use this thing as a typical hatchet, splitting wood and cutting wood and this, that, or the other. It cuts wood all right, but it cuts a different kind of wood. What I use this uh, hatchet for is actually for cutting roots uh, when we're out on the job site and uh, I'm helping uh, some of the people who are out there working and uh, you know it's better me doing that than just sitting there watching them work and it helps them out and uh, they get a free laborer and then they get to send me the bill <laughs> isn't that a kicker um, but I use this actually for digging, hitting those roots cutting them off uh, when we're walking up a ditch uh, when we're setting underground lines uh, when a dozer goes across a piece of property and we're doing uh, we're taking up some trees or doing you know this that or the other you got some roots sticking up and that thinness actually really helps me out there I could only imagine what it would do for people that actually use this thing for its intended use but that's why we carry it in the truck of course I uh, I've traded, treated my sheath very well over the years uh, like I said I bought this thing when I was in high school hadn't really changed much except now the sheath is is made in uh, Taiwan and mine uh, don't have any of those markings on it it just says uh, S-Wing right there number one anyway <clears throat> I think the new ones sit there and say made in Taiwan or something like that why am I talking about this well the reason I'm talking about this is because getting back into reasonably priced tools especially for beginners to get out with or people that aren't that experienced uh, I got an S-Wing axe now this is the camper's axe that maybe that's the camper's hatchet or maybe I, I don't know what that thing's called who knows uh, I know this is the camper's axe though now it is basically I believe a two-piece design here I think I can figure that out uh, pretty well <laughs> and then it comes down to a rubber handle what do I like about this I like its weight uh, I like it's uh, that it is unlike the Gerber is not made out of a polymer and no matter how high you make your resin content uh, to make that polymer flexible, you're still going to lose uh, some of its uh, flexibility when it gets very cold. And you have the possibility when you strike it wrong or something this there or the other that you're just going to break it. The S-Wing, we're going to see how that works. Uh, one big thing about this S-Wing is it's made in the USA. Of course, you're seeing the, it, it upside down and backwards because, hey, listen, I'm left-handed. It's just the way it works. Uh, what do I like about this also? I like the thinness of the blade. I think that's going to really dig into things really well. Um, I like, you know, a lot of things. What I don't like about it is this handle. I wish this handle was just a little bit longer. Uh, by maybe an inch or two. Why is that? Because I do a two-handed operation here and I'll just show you my hand is actually down on the bottom and I put my other hand up 
and I don't, my hands are touching and I've got that much. I really, when I'm working, I don't like my hands just rubbing on each other. Sometimes I'm going to have gloves on. I'd really like that to be an inch longer. Does it make that much of a difference? Probably not. Uh, this is not going to be your, <clears throat> this is going to be your just rough around hatchet for going out, goofing off, this, that, or the other. It's not going to be your go out and split a quart of wood. Uh, if it is, then, uh, man, it's going to probably work you to death with this little, because it's not very long, it's not that heavy. But what it will do is it will cut through something where it's not probably going to be the best splitter in the world. It'll cut, cut a tree down pretty quick, or cut a tree in half uh, where it's over the road and you, know, you need to get through or something or you know we get out on the farm we have to do that all the time I mean most of the time when I cut something up I'm not splitting it I'm not doing any of that crap I'm just cutting it to get it to where it's not in the way of a piece of equipment or something and this you don't have to worry about a, a gas engine you don't have to worry about any of that type stuff now you know because I never have the right gas, or I never this, that, or the other, never want, you know, ah, da, 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 da. Anyway, let's compare this real quick, and I'll give you a comparison between it and the Fiskars. And the Fiskars and the Gerber are really the same tool. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Fiskars first before I do that. Um, of course, it's got <clears throat> a, you know, composite handle. What do I like about the composite handle? It doesn't have, you know, it's just like a wooden handle feel. You can move your hand on it anywhere and uh, you can choke up on it. You can do whatever you want to do and do it very efficiently. Uh, what else do I like about this whole setup? Well, it's made in Finland. At least it's not made in China. You know, those Finns, they know what they're doing. I mean, I'm not ever going to bash their uh, ability to do things not in any way, shape, form, or fashion. One of the downsides, when I bought my Fiskars and my Gerber stuff, I bought them at a closeout deal from, I think, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. They, they bought in just a ton of stuff. And I think I got all mine for about 20, 25 bucks. They're a little more expensive now. But that has something to do with the Euro and the dollar and this, that, or the other. And, you know, it's just, it's just the way it works. Part of the process. You gotta understand, when you're buying things from outside the United States, Especially when you're buying it from Europe, you're going to have to deal with that. Um, you know, it's made in Finland. It's, you know, Fiskars. It's Gerber. Da 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 da. What do I not like about it? <clears throat> I don't like the fact that I got to in the previously, no matter how much, what's your resin content here, and, and it, to make more flexible plastics actually costs more uh, when you're actually forming it up. And that's where a lot of people cheap out. I'm not saying Fiskars did. I'm not saying anything like that. I'm just saying that at cold temperatures, below freezing, you know, 20 degrees, 15 degrees, 10 degrees, for some reason, every damn time it's there, I'm about doing something. You know, nothing, I'm never gonna get a tree across the road or something on a beautiful day and the sun's out and it's coming down and I'm just feeling like at one with nature. No, it's always got to be that time where the, I think nature's going to, wants to kill me. Um, but, so, there's going to be, there's going to be that point. Is it durable? Probably. I uh, haven't used these. I'm going to use them side by side. They're really about the same length. What do I not like about it? <clears throat> other than just the handle material but you know it's a it's hey a lot of people like them so I'm not gonna sit there and you know and I'm not the end-all be-all expert on these things in fact this is not my area uh, if, if you want to get into to wood at wood handle axes my grandfather taught me how to <laughs> put a handle in an Amex uh, when I was a kid because he ran a barber shop and uh, also ran a pawn shop uh, when he wasn't taking bets and that kind of stuff but anyway I don't like the thickness right there um, that'll probably be great for splitting for chopping down a tree uh, that I can see where that would probably make a little more of a problem it this these seem to be these Fiskars seem to be better designed towards splitting 
than they are at chopping uh, down a tree, cross cutting. Um, that's, you know, I'm not the end all be all expert, but that's just tends to be my, my comparison of them. Now I'm going to compare that to uh, actually something that is, uh, I, I do know quite a bit about. And uh, these are the Grantford Brooks. Uh, I'm not going to go get mine out of the barn because uh, it's not uh, super warm outside right now and I'm wearing a t-shirt. But anyway, uh, see the difference there in the thickness and the way in which, and there's a word for that, and I don't know what it is, and I don't really care. Uh, the Grantsford Brooks comes back, stays really thin, and then widens out uh, around the handle to give enough wood through there for it to have strength. Now this is an American felling axe. We're not going to compare a big American felling axe uh, to, to these, these smaller, uh, more portable, lightweight uh, units. I'm also not going to compare a almost $200 axe or $150 or whatever those things are to a, a $40 and $50 tools. But I was just giving you a comparison. Uh, now, that's my honest opinion. If I find out anything by going out in the field that's any different, I'll get back with you. If I don't find, just from me using it, that it is honestly any different than that, uh, then probably I will not make an update video. But just from understanding the tools, how they're made, what they're done, this, that, or the other, and just understanding a little bit of polymer chemistry and uh, just engineering mechanics as far as the way in which the uh, blades are actually uh, formed, you know, that's my gut reaction. Another thing I don't like about the Fiskers is if you do break the handle, because I have never seen an axe that had it or its original handle yet, uh, you will break them eventually if you use them enough you can't repair it. Now you can't repair the S-Wing either um, but we will see how you know this type of jointry actually works um, in, a, in a real and practical application. Am I, now am I going to tell you that I'm going to do an actual study on it with multiple samples and this, that, or the other and get a bunch of people going out and splitting wood? No. But I can give you an honest to God uh, real world representation because I'm going to tell you this is going to start going out on job sites and we're going to start <laughs> Because I'm getting older and I really don't want to bend over, which is the point. Uh, after I'm done splitting some stuff and doing some stuff, this is actually going in my truck, and we're going. It's going to start cutting some roots because uh, uh, forty dollars really isn't that big a deal when you get the extra length on that handle. And uh, <laughs> because I really like that thinness of that blade, it gives going into. Uh, the dirt and everything where these roots are that have to be cut uh, it gives very little resistance and does a very good job and in the end of the day it only matters what the job it does what it's designed for what you can use it for and in the in, end of my day it doesn't make you any money can you do more work in that day because of the tool this is guns knives watches and have a good one